Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Ferdinand Leva. I'm one of the violinists in the DePonte String Quartet. <clears throat> Today I'm going to be performing for you uh, Brahms' first violin sonata, uh, the first movement, which is Vivace ma non troppo. <clears throat> this work was written in 1879 and performed in that same year by Robert and Maria Heckman, a uh, husband and wife duo, in November of that year. Uh, but this work owes a great deal to uh, Joseph Joachim and Clara Schumann, great friends of Brahms, <coughs> who had a, a, a quite heavy influence on his musical life and his uh, personal life as well. It's said that Brahms was maybe more than infatuated with Clara Schumann, but that was the wife of his great friend and um, colleague, Robert Schumann, who at this time had passed away. But this work, um, <coughs> students of Brahms have said that he had written already five violin and piano sonatas, which he discarded as not suitable for the public and destroyed them. So this is the first one that he felt was acceptable to present to a publisher and to an audience. And <coughs> it's also known as the Reagan Sonata or the Rain Sonata because the third movement uses material from some of his songs that uh, are titled Reagan. They're Reagan lead and <coughs> they're about the rain. But that's the third movement. So this is the first movement of uh, that sonata. 